Yeah, te. We saw last video with the decade counter how the design process for synchronous counters is very similar to our previous designs of sequential circuits. In this lesson, we will demonstrate this by designing a specialized counter. To better engage with the process, I recommend printing out the follow along worksheet. Here we see the design algorithm. Look familiar? It should. These are the same five steps we used for prior sequential circuits. The task we are given is to design a counter that cycles through three bit gray code in ascending order. The first step is to draw the state diagram. Not having gray code memorized, I looked up the three bit codes to help me draw this diagram. Note that I included the decimal representation of the numbers in parentheses. This is not necessary, but it certainly helps our human brains keep organized. This looks similar to state diagrams we have drawn before, but there are two key differences. Can you spot them? The first is that there is one arrow leaving each node. Previously, we had two or sometimes three arrows for each node. That was because the route taken was dependent upon external input signals, such as whether a nickel or dime was deposited. But with a straight counter, there are no decisions to be made. The current count will always increase by one on the next clock cycle. The second difference is that there is no star on the diagram, which would indicate a special output signal, such as to drop a gumball from the vending machine. In a counter, the count itself, also known as the state code, is the output. This means that no special output logic gates are needed. Step two of the design is to select the flip-flop type and draw the transition table. Here, we are arbitrarily choosing JK flip-flops. Step three is to make the next state table. The present state and next state sections are taken directly from the state diagram. For instance, 0, 1, 1, gray code for 2, will become 0, 1, 0, gray code for 3. Then, the J and K inputs for each flip-flop are filled in to enact that change. Here, where Q2 starts low and stays low, J2 must be low and K2 could be either low or high. Pause the video now and try to complete this table on the follow-along. And here we have the completed next state table. Be sure to compare this page with your results and try to understand any discrepancies. After doing that, pause the video and derive the simplest Boolean equation for each flip-flop input. Make sure that when deriving the equations, you use the present state columns as the inputs. If you did so correctly, you should have obtained Carnot maps like these for J2 and K2. And from those maps, you should have these same equations. In a similar fashion, all the other J and K equations were derived. Take note of the use of exclusive OR and exclusive NOR in the K0 and J0 equations. This will greatly simplify the logic in the upcoming circuit. As the final step, Implement and test your design as a logic circuit. Here, you see the next state logic fully wired, and thankfully, it just required one gate per flip-flop input. Left off of this diagram, for visual clarity, is the clock, preset switch, and clear switch, which would connect with all three of these flip-flops. Here in the simulator, you see the full and operational circuit. It is more difficult to read and test than an up counter, simply because it doesn't count in a traditional sequence. But by comparing these outputs with the state diagram, we can verify that it is the correct sequence. The design process shown here can be used to make a synchronous counter that follows any sequence. You can count in binary, count in gray code, cycle through a set of prime numbers, cycle through the numbers of your crush's birthday, any sequence. There is one little caveat though. 
the same number could not appear twice in the sequence. For example, the sequence 72757275 wouldn't work because the counter could only jump to one consistent number after 7. If you did want to follow that sequence, an additional flip-flop would be needed to remember whether it should jump to 5 or 2 the next time.